Welcome back to a crash course in circuit theory. We left off with controlling our lamp using the digital switch. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to control the lamp using an analog potentiometer. Assume that the potentiometer is set in the one position. This will correspond to perhaps a voltage at some point here traveling along comfortably but we would like to increase the value of the lamp of the light in order to do that we know that we have to decrease the value of the resistance in the circuit so we will slowly move our position toward the maximum point as this happens we will notice that the voltage will begin to increase until finally when we get to the value of 10 we will reach a peak value that corresponds to the maximum output of the lamp. Likewise once we are finished using the lamp at maximum output we might want to reduce the lamp back to its minimum output so we will move the knob back towards the minimum position or towards the one and we can decrease the value of the output of the lamp. So this graph demonstrates a slowly changing increase in voltage and then finally a slowly changing decrease in voltage which is why we say that this graph is an analog graph. So by introducing time into the monitoring or the tracking process, we create what we call graphs that represent how the voltages on the output changes based on how we operate this control panel. In this example, I move the knob from 1 to the 10 position and then moved it back to the one position. You can see that I moved it back from 10 to 1 a little bit faster than I moved it from 1 to 10 as you can see the difference between the increase and the decrease. The point to make here is that all these values in between are represented as opposed to the digital where you only have a minimum and a maximum a maximum or a minimum. That's the main difference between digital and analog. Thank you.